Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. As we are talking about pseudo code for conditional statements and in the previous video we have seen if, then else and if statements in detail. I have shown you how many different kind of statements that you can use inside if so that you can work on conditional statements. It can be your comparison statements. It can be checking a variable value. It can be checking for the user's input or it can be using a Boolean variable. It can be anything depends upon what is your requirement. Now, in this video, we are using another extension of if then else and if statements. And that is a nested if. Yes. Let me tell you what is a nested if. In simple words, a nested if statements or nested if is basically when you use when you use if then else inside another if then else what it means. Let me show you an example of it that is already mentioned in your book. When we have two if then else, one if then else that is outside and another if then else statement that is inside. Okay, look at this. This is copied from your book. Let me explain you this nested if example here. Okay, starting with the first statement, the output statement. It says that please enter a mark. And then your input statement. It means a user is going to input a value in a variable percentage mark. And then you will check for this variable. Okay, this is your first if then else. If started and this is the statement that you will be checking. Here you are using a comparison operator or. Or means that either this needs to be true either this needs to be true. If any one of them is true, you will print invalid mark. And if both will be false, only then you will go to the else code. So what it is? It is basically percentage mark is less than zero. It means if the user has input some value in percentage mark, which is negative, let's suppose it is minus five, or it is minus 10 or it is minus 1 any negative value then this will become false and if it becomes false anyone becomes false then no sorry it will not become false it will become true because it is saying that percentage mark is less than 0 so if a user enters any negative number so this becomes true and remember that in or comparison operator when one value one statement is true you can move towards then code and let's suppose if he has entered something that is greater than 100 let's suppose if he has entered a value 120 so it is greater than 100 so in both the cases neither the user should enter a value that is less than zero neither a user should enter a value that is greater than 100 in both the cases if any one of them is true we will be printing invalid mark but if both of them are false neither it's a negative number nor it's a number greater than 100 then we will move towards else and inside elf, here you can see that you have another if then else. So if it is not a invalid mark, it is definitely valid and it is in the range of 0 till 100. So now you have to check if it is greater than 49. Check the value again for percentage mark once it is a valid mark then you will check if the value is greater than 49. Let's suppose the value is mm, 30. 30 means that 
the value is not greater than 49. So it is false. Remember that if the value is not greater than 49, this statement becomes false and you will be moving towards else code. And let's suppose if the value is, and you will output the message fail in else. And let's suppose if the value inside percentage mark is 70. So 70 is basically greater than 49 here. So it means now it will be true for the value 70. And when this statement is true, you will be running then code. And the outmost output message pass will be printed on the screen. So this is something that you have to do. Now, this is what we call a nested if. Why? Because we are using if here, one if here and an output if here. So if another if, if within another if is known as nested if. Now, let's do a small activity. There are some changes that we need to do. Okay, let me share you what is that activity that is inside your book. Okay, so here we go. This is activity 7.4. It says that rewrite the algorithm to check for a mark between 0 and 20 and a pass mark of 10. It's very easy. We have to rewrite it. Let me just remove everything from here and then we will make the changes depends upon this activity 7.4. Okay, it said that rewrite the algorithm. I'm not going to rewrite it. I'm just going to change it depends upon these values. To check for a mark must be between 0 and 20. So it means it must not be less than 0 and it must not be greater than 20. So we need to change here the first statement. It's okay. The first thing is fine. Percentage mark must not be less than zero. But the second thing, it must not be greater than 20 now. Just write down 20 instead of 100. And the second thing is a pass mark of 10. It means a student will be passed when it will acquire 10 marks or more than 10. It means the value must be greater than and equals to 10. So here you can simply write if the value is greater than 9. Greater than 9 means it will be 10 and it will be more than 10. Then output is pass otherwise fail. So this is what you have to change. Instead of 100, write down 20. And instead of 49, write down 9. Because the pass mark is 10. So greater than 9 means it will be 10 and more than 10. And already we have mentioned here that it must not be greater than 20. So from 10 till 20, it will be pass. So this is what you have to do in this small activity 7.4. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope the topic of nested if is clear to everyone. Now, in the next video, we will see case of otherwise and case conditional statements. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and do not forget to subscribe.